So we just had a welcome to the center and it was really lovely to see the children all collaborating and eager to show their actions and it, it definitely made us feel, and me personally, very welcome. You're watching the internet's leading early childhood innovation channel. Each week, we release new videos spotlighting innovation in preschools, kindergartens, and early childhood centers from all over the world. I'm Michelle, and welcome to Early Childhood Innovation. As you may be able to tell, at the point of filming this, I'm still at home. Here in New Zealand, we're still in lockdown in response to COVID-19. However, the good news is we have another really awesome video to share with you from the Above and Beyond Centers. This week, we took a tour of the Gatepaw Center and got to watch some awesome interactions between children and educators. At the end, we also had a short chat with Colleen, the founder of Above and Beyond. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. Let us know what you think about this center in the comments below. Also, don't forget to support our channel by hitting like and subscribe. This is Gate Pub of and Beyond. Welcome. Come Thank on in. You. This is our amazing toddler room. Oh, such a neat space. It's pretty cool, hey. I love all the, the lighting fixtures. Yeah, that's the Alice in Wonderland. Yes, scene. the component. Yes, it is. So right now I have the privilege of watching a couple different children play with trucks, it looks like, on a glass window. But while that's going on in the background, I just wanted to note of all the different cultures that are here at the center and the different languages and traditions that are celebrated and really tried to be supported and included as much as possible. That's not without challenges, of course, and wondering if you have and if you support different cultures at your center and some of the challenges you face in doing that, we'd love to discuss that further. If you can leave it in the comments, we'll, uh, we'll have a chat about that. Thank you, Connor. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be like the Alice in Wonderland feeling of it's more than meet the eye. Okay. Yeah. So children are discovering it differently every day. Each child's discovering it differently so they can kind of explore it in their own way and at their own pace, yeah. Wow. So you've probably noticed the theme here. Like all above and beyond centers, with this one they've gone all out. It's truly Alice in Wonderland through and through. As we've learned from previous centers, it's all intentionally designed to inspire creativity and wonder in the children that go here. Yeah, so there's more fun, quirky, Mm -hmm. things in this room and crazy lights as well. And I love the plain light. Yeah, go away. <laughs> yeah, it's tricky getting all the bulbs and stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> Keeping up with it, but yeah, it's awesome. So these are easels. One's like a, oh, okay. a chalkboardy one as well. So different surfaces. Yeah, yeah. And I like this hidden uh, <laughs> pot. They are loving insects at the moment, so yeah, they've been, there's Lots a lot of fine in the, yeah, the bushes. Yeah, and there's a lot of bees and stuff in there. The bushes to create that quiet space outside as well, mm -hmm. you know, like a little hidey hole mm -hmm. that they can go and just be totally alone if they want to or yeah. have a place to chill out. Okay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> <And> May! <laughs> what if I miss? <laughs> Yay! Oh, Yesterday, that little tree on the deck just there, mm -hmm. they had collected like 15 snails and had put them all on there. So they were just watching them crawl up and oh. down and there was big ones, small ones. It was, yeah, it was awesome. Exploring the, exploring nature. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Phantom treasure. Oh. oh. That's awesome. Wow, it's a big bug. The volcano's coming to life. <laughs> 
should we go up have a look at our nursery? In walking around the center this morning, I've really noticed the intentionality that's gone into the aesthetic of the environment. They're really maintaining an Alice in Wonderland theme. So that goes from everything to different sized doors, uh, unique light fixtures, really just everything to keep with that theme. And it makes me wonder, are aesthetics something that you really value at your center? We'd love to hear in the comments below your thoughts on this. <laughs> oh, didn't even notice that. Yeah, so they make caterpillar. The shapes, the different shapes. Oh, here's the insects. So I, I sort of gave them a bit of a, but yeah, it's all right. Wow. Different insect shapes. Yes, we've got little spots here and, and we've got the aphids over here, we were having a look earlier, hey, we needed this, and we've got here, we've got the um, aphids oh. that are eating the plants, that's why the plants are like this, mm. ah. all screwed up, hey. and yesterday we found a whole lot of larvae, um, the, is that one oh. is yeah, that's the eggs, that's what they hatch into, and this is what we find outside. There's wow. lots and lots of them, but ours are red. And then they turn into ladybugs. Yeah, they, then they hang on, they eat all these, and then they t turn upside down and ha put a little, you know, cocoon. Mm -hmm. And then they hatch and become ladybugs. Wow. We've already found several ladybugs, wow, taking some photos. What a beautiful ladybug. So and that's off our tree outside. Wow. Our cherry tree that we're busy eating. <laughs> I, I hear we're picking the cherries. Oh, the tail. Oh. oh. Last year we picked a lot of berries and we cooked them up and we had it with ice cream. Oh. <laughs> Shall we do that this year? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. <laughs> Show us how you do it. There's your engineering and your science. Mm-hmm. And art. Yep. <laughs> All the subjects. Yeah. That's how you teach um, everything through the arts. Mm -hmm. Your engineering, your science, all of that kind of stuff comes down to them exploring through a, a medium such as paint. And look at the final product when he's finished. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Would you like me to get you out? <laughs> Upstairs to our nursery. Good morning. And the flowers. It's made interactive for this age group. Yeah. Right. And I imagine from this perspective yeah. looking up. Yeah, sometimes I like to do that. You know, like come in on your knees into a room and then you see what a child sees. Yeah. I then went upstairs to the staff room where Colleen, the founder of Above and Beyond, showed me a photo book from an art exhibition that the centers had put on. So this is the art exhibition book, obviously. And every child is an artist. So you can see how we set it up mm -hmm. and the parents to come in. And this little bit, you can't read it, but this explains the process of what happened and then the learning that was involved in that. So when parents come in, they can not only see the end result, but they can understand the learning that was occurring at the same time. And we had it interactive so that as the children and their families came in, um, they could do, you know, experience some of the experiences that the children had had. That's a cool quote too. Yeah, that's beautiful. Art is as natural as sunshine and as vital as nourishment. <coughs> it's a great event. It's a shame that there isn't in the photos the images of the parents coming through and the whanau coming through. Sometimes it's blocked, you know, and you can't get to a board yeah, yeah. because there's so many people coming to have a look. <coughs> so much fun, mm -hmm. <laughs> So much fun. It's so good and they're dead. So it's a real event, you know, and the staff and children worked really hard for a long time previous, mm -hmm. you know, prior to the event, just preparing everything. And look, they so proudly show their own yeah. artwork. That, those were self-portraits. And that's oh, wonderful. Thank you so for sharing. Sure. So guess what happened next? A tea party. 
That's right, join us next week while I sit down with Colleen, Olivia, and Sam. We're gonna dive deep into discussing a wide range of the cultures that attend the Gatepaw Center. Also some of the challenges associated with this, like Christmas, something that not all families celebrate. So until then, make sure you've subscribed as well as turned on notifications so that you're not gonna miss an episode. Take care of yourself. Remember that everyone's an innovator. Bye for now.